That's uh, that's humiliating. That's no, <laughs> it's wonderful. And then I remembered, oh, it's an owl day. Yeah. This makes sense now. Mm. And then I realized, I got, I got a career here. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> Cool stuff in here. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. Fly in. That looks way too collectory to like want to open. It was only a dollar ninety nine. That's sick. Hook. Hook. That's pretty sick. That's fun. There's someone at a bookstore here. Oh my god. Save by the bell. Oh, is that where you got these? Yeah. That's Ooh, don't great. mind if I do just digging my hands into a barrel of old yeah. cards. Movie cards. The Rocketeer was such a cool stuff. film though. I used to love that when I was Wasn't a kid. it? Yeah, for sure. Jennifer Connolly was in it. That was my first movie crush. Oh my was goodness. like That's Jennifer Jennifer Connolly. <laughs> yeah, Je I love I love Jennifer <laughs> Connolly. Do you remember your first movie crush? Uh mm. what was first the first movie crush? movie crush? God, I wanna say it was yeah. who was it? Oh, I do. But it's going to be a weird reference. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Do you know the movie Black Orpheus? No. no. It's this Brazilian movie. It's rare that I have I to say no it. to that. Yeah, I saw it when I was a kid. Uh, and yeah, that, that couple was like my first movie crush. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. No? It's been a long time, but I, I, I just want to... I, I think it might have been... What's her freaking face? Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, Catwoman? Catwoman. Because mm. I just loved her in Cat as Catwoman. I was a, <laughs> a very beautiful. good one. I still love Michelle Fish. She's still my number one. Yeah. Well, thank you for hanging out with me today. Thanks. Um, Logan, you know how I know your fans love you? You have the most detailed Wikipedia page <laughs> of <Is> any <laughs> actor your age. I have no idea. I've never I'm read it. Look it is meticulously later. cited. It's oh, it has really? quotes. Every review is glowing. It's like it's, uh, I've never seen you. anything like it. That's uh, that's humiliating. That's <laughs> no, it's wonderful. This is an actual line from your Wikipedia page with oh. with quotes because people have cited it, okay. sourced it. Lerman has described himself as reserved and quiet. A homebody yeah, and sure. not a big fan of sports. Very true. Accurate. Uh, not the first. I, I don't know if I'm reserved and quiet necessarily. Okay. Uh, people tell me I talk a lot. Uh. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say I'm a homebody. Okay. I'm a homebody. Well, they found sure. those quotes. You said it at yeah. some point, <laughs> this, and they cited it. And... I've been I've been acting for way too long, <laughs> and I said a lot of stupid. <laughs> I was, you know, a teenager. That is not accurate. It's yeah. not like me now. But I, I don't even know if I said any of that stuff, if it's true or not. I really don't know. Who knows? It's yeah. the internet, right? right? Yeah, yeah. I heard he also said that uh, he worships at the giraffe god. Um, mm -hmm. and, oh, that's true. Uh, that, uh, that is true. That is accurate. <laughs> Yes. Worship at the feet of the giraffe yeah, god. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> that so, accurate. Hunters, um, tell me about the first time you met Al Pacino. Mm. My God. First time I met Al. I, I See, we've just hung out so much now. That's yeah. Like, I'm trying to remember the first time. The first time I met was Al was on set. Um, mm. That We were shooting that scene with the three of us. Mm. Um, and, yeah, and I remember coming to work that day and the air on set felt different and I was very confused as to why. <laughs> and then I remembered, oh, it's an owl day. Yeah. This makes sense now. It's so like a very cold? No, no, not cold. But oh. just, it's just, you know, a different, a different, just a different quality. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time I met him was at the table read. Oh, that's what, that's oh, wait, right. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's when I met you, that's yeah. when I met everybody. Yeah. And he, uh, and everybody else was, we were all super uncomfortable. Because mm. <laughs> it's a table read. Yeah. Yes. And I don't know if you know what a table read is, audience, or what that sounds like, but I mean, exactly what it is. It's a bunch of people and the studio executives, and we all read the script, mm -hmm. and it's super weird. And nobody <laughs> likes it. I don't even know if anybody's listening to it afterwards or if it has any real purpose. Yeah, because they record um, it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like, I mean, we, you know, it's the script. Uh, we've all read, <laughs> but the uh, I met Al there, and he was very nice. He yeah. was very, very nice, and then we get to know each other more over time. And yeah. he's just like the sweetest God, person God. you can. Uh, I mean, you probably wouldn't imagine. Right. But he's like the sweetest person yeah. ever. Huh. 
Uh, Logan, I read that you have family members who actually fled Germany from mm -hmm. the Nazis. Is that true? That is very true. Did this story then hit even closer to home for you? Sure. Yeah, yeah. It definitely did. I mean, um, I do have a yeah, you know, a, you know family history that mm. goes back there. Um, yeah, I guess it it yeah it resonated differently with me maybe than mm. somebody else. I guess I don't know. Jerka, I love that your uh, detective, Detective Morris, mm -hmm. um, none of the men, tr almost none of the men treat her well in this story. Don't think she oh, knows how to so do her job. Oh, she's so dismissed by them, yeah. But I love the strength you bring to this character and also just kind of the, the sarcasm and wit to just like dismiss their dismissal mm -hmm. of you and just go about doing your job to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you loved about this character? She has a, yeah, yeah. I mean, I always love, uh, I love characters with integrity. Mm -hmm. uh, and that and that's Millie to a T. Um, she's, she's got a great head on her shoulders. She has a very strong uh, moral and ethical backbone. Uh, that of course gets tested throughout the series, mm. um, but those those fundamental elements of who she is and just kind of um, not 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 seeking validation through uh, through 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 outside forces, but just kind of like having that center compass within herself mm. is something that I really love about her. What is uh, what would be the best part of living in the '70s for you? Now that you've kind of lived in this world. <sighs> Whether it's a food or a TV show or it's just something that you wish would be the best internet part. existence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good really answer. liberating. That's a very good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Not have to think about social media or like being so readily available at all yeah. times. Well, although I mean, come on. There's some there, benefits. Yeah, to that, I was gonna say. But there's like, a lot GPS of stress. GPS is great. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That um, is pretty good. But that's a good. Uh, maybe cell phones. I, I yeah. Yeah, cell phones. Not having those around, hmm. um, you know. Let's see, roller discos. Can I say that that's an excellent part? Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. Seventies. A good roller disco, a good payphone, <laughs> bring those a back. Good payphone. Can I just say I love that we never thought about how disgusting they are, and we would always just here, right against our faces, right against our mouths yeah. all oh. the time. It was great. You check for a quarter, maybe so in the great, slot. Yeah. As a kid, Little I was always obsessed with. I'd yep. go, be in the mall and yeah. check for quarters. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, so well, we weren't necessarily poor or anything, but Doesn't I just matter. loved having gift, looking for court. It was. It was exciting. <laughs> Something to do. Um, what was the TV show or movie that made you each want to be an actor? Oh, I don't have one. Do I do. You? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, it was Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. <clears throat> and, and Eternal Sunshine. Hmm. Uh, I'd say probably Eternal Sunshine first. That was what I watched first. That really made me. I was already acting. Yeah. By this time, because I started when I was really young, but that was the movie that made me want to learn about filmmaking. Hmm. Mm. Is it true one of your first gigs was a Cabbage Patch Dolls commercial? Yeah, that was my first. <laughs> maybe it might be just the first. It's either that or an LA Times commercial. Huh. Do you remember anything about the Cabbage Patch commercial? Yes, I do. Please tell me. Um, for, and also I found it on YouTube once. <laughs> Oh, really? So my friends and I were talking. They're like, where the heck is this thing? We looked it up and we found it. And it was very brief. But yeah, so I... I can't wait. So please tell me how to find this. Yeah, I was really temperamental. I was really um, specific about what I liked and didn't like okay. back then, too. And I would say no a lot. I said no to the director. Of lunch. I remember the director just yelling at me, just getting so upset. Because I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That doesn't feel right for me and my sense of self <laughs> and for my character. It wasn't your vision for the oh, character. Was in this. Like, I'm not going under the water with the toy. Why would I do that? It's a doll. And this turns Logan, out it's like how a old were you? I was like five. Oh I was like five God. years old. Oh, it was one of the I just cool remember the, patch? Yeah, it was like some sort of like water thing. Hmm. I don't remember exactly what the product was. Um, <laughs> but um, I remember the director almost having... A nervous breakdown because I, I wouldn't do what what the director said, hmm. and then I realized I got I got a career here. <laughs> I can do this. I could do this. Oh, you know what? Dogs. One quick uh, last question. And this was something I didn't see until I just recently. I've seen the episodes, but I saw the trailer and said it's inspired by true events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Can you tell me what true events inspired this? Uh, well, there's a yeah, there's an operation called Operation Paperclip after World War II, where uh, the U.S. recruited not. Uh, great Nazi minds uh, to uh, to serve 
uh, for their country to to work in the NASA, you know, space program to work for uh, different programs in the U.S. and in return uh, gain immunity and a new identity. Hmm. And that really happened. There was a lot of people uh, that uh, were living under new identities in the U.S. Wow. Well, thank you very much for hanging out. With <laughs> well, me. great way to end it. I know. Hey, I and should, they're still uh, here. Uh, you know, you were a difficult child, but you were a wonderful <laughs> man. Thank and you. This all went really well. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank Pleasure. you so much. Nice talking <laughs> with you. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you very See, we much. still laughed in the end. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's joy. You put together a group of Nazi eyes. What do you say? I'm one. Welcome to the run. There is a right way and a wrong way to get justice. You do this, you become the evil you are fighting. I need to learn how to fight. I know a few people do. We're good to go. Let's roll on A and B. Peanut butter is the longest relationship I've ever had. Have yeah. you seen this man? <laughs> yeah! And Jake's got his shirt off a lot. Whoa. We're done. Ha, 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 ha.